Alright guys, this is the first video of the DIY LED fixture of the series and um, just starting it off with this here um, I got my LEDs and drivers and uh, when you open it up this is what you greet it with it, it's basically um, looks like an instructional instructional um, on how to do the assembly and adjusting the drivers and everything so um, there's that and then I've got the uh, <clears throat> this is my dimmer system here potentiometers and stuff in there and then a 10 volt power adapter and then the, I'm assuming this um, is for testing the driver um, I'm, I guess I don't know what the heck that's for right offhand I didn't order it or anything and then here's the actual LEDs these are XMLs uh, they're 10 watts each and I've got eight of them here and as you can see they're already pre-tinned and uh, they're ready to be soldered in basically um, so that's nice they're already pre-tinned <coughs> and then here's my um, my uh, Royal Blues these are XTEs and um, you can see they're not tinned um, so I'll have to tin those and then these there's four more there so, so those are the actual LEDs and then here's the drivers 27D is going to be the driver for the XML and then the two 48Ds are going to be the drivers for the XTE Royal Blues so this is um, This is basically all you all I ordered here. I didn't order that, but uh, it came with it. Probably just for testing the drivers. Um, anyways, um, so I'm gonna be doing this build, and I'm gonna be getting videos on all the steps, and you guys can follow along if you feel feel like doing one yourself or whatever. Um, and uh, as long as I'm here, this is gonna be one of the heat sink plates right here that I got today also and uh, there's supposed to be two panels but basically um, it's 18 inches by 6 inch and there's going to be four on each one of these four clusters I'm doing um, <clears throat> There's eight of these, so I'm going to be doing four X XTEs or XMLs on each panel. So one, two, three, four on here. And then they'll be clustered around each one, the royal blue. <coughs> so, um, and then I'm going to bridge these together. And also I'm modifying these, and I'm going to be adding some cooling fins to the back side of the plate here and there's going to be an active cooling system on here <clears throat> which will um, just be a safety measure just in case because I hear these things can run hot XMLs can but this is the basic setup right here coming um, I may be adding other colors like violet and some regular uh, deep blues and then um, 
a couple like a cyan and deep red and maybe do some of those and some violets some true violets um, <clears throat> in the future on their own drivers but uh, this is just the basic start up I'm not trying to spend everything I got on this thing right away I'm trying to do it initial basic build um, right out the gate as cheap as possible with dimming features and <clears throat> I'm at roughly um, I don't know if this um, invoice is on here or not <clears throat> there it is there's the invoice so that's what I'm at right now you can see what I bought here And this is going over a 72 gallon bow front. And uh, I know those XMLs are really expensive. You can see they're $6.50 each. But they're, um, <clears throat> they're actually more cost effective in the long run compared to the XPGs. Because they put out more lumens per watt and you don't need as many so you can cut back on some of the whites um, actually save a few bucks by getting the XML but I'm gonna I'm not I'm not underestimating the heating system here I'm definitely gonna make sure or the cooling system I'm definitely gonna make sure that these are this is quarter inch thick um, aluminum plate here and then like I said there's gonna be active cooling as well as some cooling fins added to the back of this so um, anyways yeah stay tuned I'm, I've basically been following um, a lot of the stuff that uh, the like uh, the evil cluster um, on some of the forums if you guys have heard of the evil cluster check it out google it whatever um, it basically involves having a high powered LED and clustered around it a bunch of royal blues um, and uh, blaster man is the one that pointed me this direction and I've seen pictures of his tank with neutrals and royal blues and they're great um, from what I see they have really nice color and uh, can't wait to see this once it's all going so you guys stay tuned with me, alright? This is going to be pretty interesting, so take care.